Hello, I'm Dr. Brant Gibson, and today I want to talk to you about another topical medication that is sometimes utilized for peripheral neuropathy. This is topical lidocaine, or xylocaine, as the brand name is. Um, topical lidocaine is used for many different types of pain situations. It's sometimes used on burns and insect bites and stings. It can be used on poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, minor cuts or scrapes. Um, it can be used in a liquid form, sometimes in the mouth, and it can be used as a topical patch a lot of times for more severe type pains. Sometimes this is utilized as well for peripheral neuropathy. In the use for peripheral neuropathy, the patches work really well because they're a delayed release or extended release type patch. And what they do is they produce the lidocaine effect or the numbing effect that comes with lidocaine. Uh, for example, if you would give a lidocaine shot, you get the anesthetic of effects, the patch can sometimes do very, very similar. The topical lidocaine is not quite as effective. Uh, we have found with peripheral neuropathy that using topical lidocaine, it will work in some individuals. The difficulty is getting past the barrier, the epidermal barrier to really get the effects of a topical lidocaine. So we use it. It's usually rubbed on. It can be beneficial in some individuals. The truth is you're probably getting more benefit from the massage of putting it on sometimes than you even get from the lidocaine itself just because it fails to penetrate the skin as well as you would like. This is Dr. Brant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 113, topical lidocaine as another option for peripheral neuropathy. It does work. It's not super effective. Although it can take some of the edge off, it can make it a little bit easier to function with peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Brent Gibson. Have a great day.